Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And on your screen, you see the Tudor Black Bay Pro. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. The Black Bay Pro, as you see it on your screen, is the major novelty of Tudor in this year here at Watches and Runners 2022. And what you see is, yes, it is a fully functional GMT watch with a fixed bezel comparable to the Explorer of Rolex, if you wish. So in difference to the GMT, this bezel on your screen is fixed and you cannot turn it and use it in theory as a third time zone. So I will grab the watches and then you see, of course, <laughs> this is typical when you come to Rolex and Tudor, you see watches, but there are no movements. But you are on Watch Advisor and of course Watch Advisor knows how to organize a watch and we do have the watch of the CEO here, Eric Pearson. We were, he was so kind to give us a fully functional watch. It is here and I will show you now how this watch works and what you can do with it. So before I start, I just want to say one thing. This is, as I said it before, the watch of the CEO and it is a watch that has been worn before. So if you see scratches or anything on the watch, it's his personal watch and not the new watch. So be sure that you will never find such a watch when you buy it new. There are some scratches here behind I found, but this is normal when you wear the watch. You see here, it's normal. Okay, let me start right away to talk about um, the diameter, 39 millimeter. The thickness of the watch is 14.6 uh, millimeter, and you see the Tudor rose engraved here on the crown. That's the Tudor rose, of course. And you see here, boxed sapphire crystal. There is no anti-reflective treatment of the sapphire crystal on the outside, but on the inner side. And I owe you, of course, and I think you have been waiting for it, the lug to lug distance. And I've been measuring 47 millimeters. And if you are not aware what the lug to lug distance is, I'll take my legendary Bergeon pointer that will by no means scratch the watches because it's plastic. So the log to log distance is measured from one log end to the other log end and it is 47 millimeter. Yes, it is tapering. We have 20 in between the logs, 20 in between the logs and 16 in the clasp. Then, as I said it before, it's a full functional GMT. It is the same caliber, the same movement they use in the GMT. It's the MT5652. It is a COSC certified movement, officially certified movement by COSC. Then Tudor is assembling the watches and retesting them and improving the accuracy from minus four to plus two seconds. So you know that COSC is minus four plus six and they are improving from minus four to plus two. So uh, pretty, yeah, that's something you have to do this. And the watches are tested fully assembled. That's the huge difference. If you take um, COSC, COSC is only certifying the movement. Now let me unwind the crown and show you some details. Okay. I've been unscrewing the crown. The case is waterproof up to 200 meters. And uh, what you see um, is in the first position with gloves. It's not always easy to do it, but I'm now in the first position. And you see, um, you can independently set the hour hand. That what a full GMT is about. You don't want the watch to stop when you are readjusting um, the local time in uh, comparison to your home time. So the watch is set. Um, 10 o'clock, it is synchronized, you see on the basil, the um, yellow um, hour hand is pointing at 10 o'clock and if you want to do a first adjustment, you pull out the crown in the second position and what happens then is, you see, depending, now it's 9 o'clock and you see 9 o'clock on the basil, it's a stainless steel basil, of course, it's 11 o'clock now, you see. So you're doing your principal adjustments. Let's say it's 10 o'clock here in Geneva. So we are adjusting the watch to 10 o'clock. Then you, the second hand continues to tick. 
And once you travel, wherever you arrive, the only thing you do is you pull out the crown in the first position. You see that the central second hand did not stop, would make any sense. Why should it? And then you can do your readjustments of the time zone you're in. So the zone time adjustments you need to do, easily done. And the yellow um, hour hand will still indicate 10 o'clock and you will, at a glance, First, you see your home time, of course. And if you need to do some adjustments with the date, yes, uh, there is no quick adjustment, but you do. What you do is you continue turning. Every 24 hours, the date will change. And if you need to do this the other way around, you can, of course, no problem, you go back. And we come back to the eight, as you see it here on your screens. And we're back at 10 o'clock. So full functional GMT watch. COSC certified, improved by Tudor. You see here the crown, screw down crown. I will now close it again. You see, you screw in. And this is always a good sign if I can do it with gloves. And the first try, look, now it's closed. You have that beautiful crown uh, with the Tudor rose, huge crown. It enables perfect operations with the watch. And yeah, it looks also good. I like it when watches have uh, pretty huge crowns. So there you go, but I'm not finished yet. Of course, yeah, there's no see-through case back. Yeah, that's Tudor and Rolex, you won't see it. This is the clasp, Tudor Genève and so on. And yeah, there is T-Fit. Yes, some of you probably already said it. You have T-Fit. What you do is you go in T position. You go in the T position and then when you are in the T position, you see here, you can Adjust the length eight millimeters to your needs. It's clearly visible what you do. You go in a kind of a T position here. And once you do this, you have this eight millimeters, fine adjustment. And yeah. So this is the functioning version, the watch of the CEO, which I was able to uh, get hands on to be able to show you the technical functions of the watch. And now I will grab Watches with no movements in, so please. Um, so the watch comes in three possible versions, either with the bracelet, as I just showed it, or with that beautifully looking woven textile strap, with that matching yellow stripe in the middle, matching exactly the color of the GMT hand or the UTC hand, see here? That excellent quality. Tudor was the first one to offer such incredible woven straps. They're really we've done with a partner in France and this quality is really, yeah, ex exceptional. And you see here, that's the watch. Then you have a pin buckle, classical pin buckle. You have two loops where you go in. I'll quickly open that for you so you can see it with gloves. Again, uh, no, I can't do it. I can do it. There you go. And you see the watch on the back side. It looks like goes underneath. No see-through case peg as well here, of course. This is the second possibility to wear the Black Bay Pro. And yes, there is one more. A hybrid rubber and leather strap. Leather wears the leather <laughs> here. It feels like rubber, but it is not. It is leather. And what is in contact with your skin is rubber. So it's what you see here. So it's hybrid, rubber and leather. And this is a combination. You have a folding clasp. Once again, you choose your length. You fix the pin and then you have yeah, a folding clasp. Close it. Let me click. And now I had to first. Now let me redo this. I have to slide in here. See, I forgot to slide in. Then you close, you have a security and two loops. Yeah, that will keep the end in perfect position. And this looks like this from the side. So, tissue. Also, I have to mention, it's not that the watch comes with the straps and the bracelet, you have to choose either, either, either. So either you buy it rubber, either you buy it with 
the woven tissue strap or you choose the version with the bracelet. And yeah, if uh, yeah, here is the one not functioning. So the new version without scratches, I can show you it's the same with that nice bracelet, the T fit clasp. So the watch back on your screen, smiling again, 10 past 10 and showing the eight lucky numbers. The version of the bracelet is sold for 3,800 Swiss francs, including taxes. Then with that beautifully woven strap, this sells for 3,500 Swiss francs, including VAT. And if you're choosing the rubber strap with the leather on top, 3,000. 500 Swiss francs. So 39 millimeter watch, perfectly, I have to say, fitting on my wrist. I, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Um, normally I'm a, I'm a guy who prefers uh, uh, huge sizes, but um, I have to say these 39 millimeters really look good with the woven tissue, as I told you. Two loops to, yeah, fix the end. Thickness. Thickness is 14.6. Uh, yeah, lug to lug, once again, 47 millimeters. So this is the version with the bracelet I'm wearing on my wrist. It's Mr. CEO's watch. And you see, we do have different wrist sizes. In fact, there is some space here. I've been using the T-Fit, but still my wrist size is 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches and yeah apparently he has a big or a huge wrist compared to mine but this is how it is but you can I think here you see how the watch looks like 39 millimeters that's the essential information you need and once it is really perfectly sitting on your wrist though it wears comfortably and I didn't mention this before in case you are Planning to um, not to wear the Black Bay Pro, you have a power reserve of 70 hours. I forgot to say that before. This is the version with that hybrid strap where you have either on the outside um, uh, leather and on the inner side rubber. And I'm trying to show it in a way in the camera that this is due to the fact that the sapphire crystal, as I said it before, has not an anti-reflective treatment on the outside, but just on the inner side. But this is how it is. Nicely looking, fixed basal as an alternative to the classical GMT. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video about the new Black Bay Pro. As you see in the edition with the rubber strap, with the woven strap and the bracelet, you have to choose. It's up to you. One watch, three possibilities to wear it. And yeah, let me use the watch of Tudor's CEO to say goodbye to you. This is a functional piece. You see it is smiling, 10 past 10. Um, comments are welcome. I'm curious to learn how, what you think about the watch, thickness, lug to lug, uh, size of the case, etc., etc. Do you like, uh, did you like what you saw on the video or not? Comments are welcome. Goodbye from Geneva. And yeah, the welcome back, of course, because it won't be the last video we are bringing from Watches and Wonders. Bye-bye for now.